Shalom. All praises, honors, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to my elders, the apostles of Great Millstone. Those are the men that taught me this truth, which is the truth of the Bible through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, and Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, a thumb to the elect of Israel that's scattered across the four corners of the globe. Now, what you're looking at is an article from Newsweek.com, which was posted two, two days ago, November 23rd, uh, 2017. And this was sent to me by the brother Kassad. Uh, of GMS New York main camp <clears throat> and it reads China tests 10 warhead missile that could strike anywhere in the world for possible 2018 deployment and the reason why this article is of significance is because it's articles that like this that let us know the time that we're living in okay and uh, when I say us I'm referring to the prophets of Yahweh Bashmah Shai okay the men of the Lord beginning with the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone Okay, it's articles like this that let us know that we're definitely living in a time of war and a time where the Heavenly Father, who the world ignorantly call God and they ignorantly call His Son, uh, Jesus Christ, who we know as Yahweh, Wah Yahweh Shai, in the ancient Hebrew, it's articles like this that let us know that this place that you know is America, which the Bible refers to as uh, Babylon, or I should say, Mystery Babylon the Great, is going to be destroyed. Okay, America is going to be destroyed very, very soon. And it's important that you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans understand the time that you're living in, right? Because uh, whether you know it or not, we're the Hebrew Israelites, okay? And uh, one third of our people are going to be delivered from this great destruction, okay? Uh, what the Bible refers to as the second death, all right? So, um, uh, in, that, in fact, to prove that, let's go to the book of Ecclesiastes, uh, first and then we're going to get into the article so this is ecclesiastes 3 verse 1 it says to everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under heaven verse 8 a time to love and a time to hate a time of war and a time of peace okay and the time that we live in right now is a time of war okay and that's why you're uh, seeing uh, news articles like the one that we're about to read Okay, that's why you're seeing news articles of uh, North Korea building up their military might. Okay, because like I said earlier, you see these various different countries around the world, North Korea being one of them, uh, China being one of them, Iran being one of them, Russia being one of them, okay, uh, different countries within the EU. These countries that have military uh, arsenal, uh, not military arsenal, pardon me, nuclear uh, arsenal, okay that have icbms they're gonna shoot their missiles on america very very soon all right and america is going to be 100 percent desert okay it's no longer gonna no longer gonna uh, be inhabited all right and like i said again it's important that you so-called negroes latinos and native americans uh understand the time that you're living in okay because if you don't you just might be a part of that destruction okay now uh, this is newsweek.com it says North Korea isn't the only country in Asia testing intercontinental ballistic missiles. Its neighbor, China, which the US has urged to pressure the Pyongyang to give up its nuclear weapons program, is deploying one of its own. The People's Liberation Army of China is adding the next generation intercontinental ballistic missile to its lineup primarily to show off its growing military clout and because it lags for far behind the number of nuclear weapons the US owns so since they uh, said that let's go to the book of Joel chapter uh, 3 and I'll start at 9 it says proclaim ye this among the Gentiles the Gentiles here that's being spoken about are all of these Gentile nations okay these uh, various different peoples that are outside of the nation of Israel okay so it says proclaim ye this among the Gentiles now the word proclaim means to say before it's another way for it's another word for saying uh, to prophesy and that's what us men all right the men of the Lord right again begin with the Apostles the elders and the brothers of Great Millstone that's what we do when we go out there on the highways and byways or what you call street corners we go out there every week, every weekend, you know, uh, throughout the week and, and stuff like that, you know, various different camps around the world. 
and we proclaim, right? We, we say things that are gonna happen before they take place, right? Because that's what we've been, we've been commanded by who you ignorantly call God and his son, all right? So it says, proclaim ye this among the Gentiles, prepare war, wake up the mighty men, let all the men of war draw near, let them come up. And that's what these uh, various different nations are doing. Okay, these various different nations that have uh, uh, military might, such as China, such as North Korea, okay, they're building up their, their, uh, their nuclear uh, arsenal right now. And that's what we're seeing in the news. Verse 10, it says, beat your plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into spears. Let the weak say I am strong. Now what it means by beat your plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into spears, meaning take all of the money that you would put into your agriculture and put that money into uh, warfare, okay? Global warfare. This uh, up and coming World War III that's gonna take place, right? And that's what we're seeing here in the news. It says, beat your plowshares into swords and pruning hooks into spears. A, a plowshare, that's a, a farming instrument, okay? A pruning hook, that's a farming instrument, okay? Swords, spears, those are weapons of war, all right? So it says, let the weak say I am strong. And again, that's what we're seeing here in the news. When we go back to this article, this is what it says. The People's Liberation Army of China is adding the next generation intercontinental ballistic missile to its lineup primarily to show off its growing military clout and because it lags far behind the number of nuclear weapons the US owns all right and so all of these various different countries that might not have um, as many nuclear weapons as the US but they're starting you know they start to build up their their nuclear their nuclear weapons their nuclear arsenal that's what they're doing right now okay they're letting America know <laughs> that they're strong all right just as the scripture says so reading on in the article it says called Don Feng 41 the missile has a 12,000 kilometer range meaning it could strike anywhere on the globe from mainland China and can carry nearly a dozen nuclear warheads at once all right now the point that we want to focus on here is where it says uh, the missile has a 12,000 kilometer range meaning it could strike anywhere on the globe okay and the bible speaks about how there's going to be missiles that are shot from one end of the earth even to the other okay and to prove that we're going to find that in um second Ezra chapter 16 and i'm going to start from let me see verse 11 it says the lord shall threaten okay the lord that's being spoken about here begins with who you ignorantly call god who we know as yahweh that's his name okay and he's the one true god he's the only god right and his son's name is Yahweh Shai that's who you ignorantly call Jesus Christ all right so when it says the Lord it's referring to those two entities so I read it again it says the Lord shall threaten and who shall not be utterly beaten to powder at his presence the reason why it says that is because when the heavenly father Yahweh sends his son Yahweh Shai to earth okay he's coming in what people ignorantly call UFOs okay which we know to be the chariots of Israel right these vehicles are going to deliver one third of these so-called negroes latinos and native americans right the hebrew israelites and then two third of these so-called negroes latinos and native americans are going to be left here to be destroyed all right and like i said when our lord and savior uh, yahweh shai returns and what people ignorantly call ufos they're going to have their own brand of fire meaning what they're going to have laser beams coming out of these uh vehicles all right and they're going to um utterly beat people to powder man we, you can read about that in the book of second ezra's um what's that now the 13th chapter man all right verse 12 it says the earth quaketh and the foundations thereof now the reason why it says the earth quaketh is because they're going to be a massive earthquake like the world has never ever seen before okay or felt before i should say right there's going to be a massive earthquake out here on earth because of all of the uh, missiles that are going to be shot on america Right, and to prove that, um, I think you can find that in the book of Isaiah uh, 24 and 20. Let me see if I can get that. Yeah, this is Isaiah 24, verse 20. It says, The earth shall reel to and fro like a drunkard, and shall be removed like a cottage, 
and the transgression thereof shall be heavy upon it and it shall fall and not rise again as you can see it's talking about an earthquake here right and what it means by it shall fall and not rise again that's talking about esau's empire all right esau's wicked empire when i say esau i'm referring to these so-called white people right we're living at the last leg of their uh rulership beginning with the elite all right so going back to um second ezra chapter 16 i read it again verse 12 is no verse 13 it says for strong is his right hand that bendeth the bow his arrows that he shooteth are sharp and shall not miss yeah the reason why it says his arrows that he shooteth are sharp is because at the end of the day these are these missiles that you're you're reading about these different icbms that these uh countries have got right they're all the the um how can i put it they're all the arsenal of yahweh marshmallow shy at the end of the day because it tells us in the book of um exodus chapter 15 verse 3 that the lord yahweh is a man of war okay so him being a man of war that means he's, he's got his own um army okay he's got his own military okay and that's coming in form of these militaries that you see around the world man right he these militaries around the world are all for the purpose of the heavenly father yahweh and his son yahweh shai it's all for their purpose man to bring about this world war three all right to destroy esau's wicked kingdom okay so going back to second ezra chapter 16 uh verse 13 it says his arrows that he shooteth are sharp and shall not miss when they begin to be shot into the ends of the world see when they begin to be shot into the ends of the world right so it's going to leave from china it's going to leave from these missiles are going to leave from mainland china mainland russia mainland iran all right and they're going to be shot from uh, those regions on the globe to america man verse 14 it says behold the plagues are sent and shall not return again until they come upon the earth all right now again these these plagues or this plague that's being spoken about here is really speaking about these icbms all right and to prove that we're going to go to the book of zachariah uh, chapter 12 i believe uh, what's that 12 and no 14 and 12 pardon me so this is zachariah 14 verse 12 it says and this shall be the plague wherewith the Lord shall smite the people that have fought against Jerusalem. Right now, when you look up this word uh, plague in the Hebrew is magapa, all right, which means a fatal blow. All right. Now, this fatal blow is going to come in form of these ICBMs that are going to completely and utterly destroy what you know today as North America. Right. Which, again, the Bible refers to this North America as babylon the great mystery babylon the great mystery why because to the masses of people uh this place is you know a place that's gonna go on forever okay and you know babylon the great is a mystery unto the masses of people okay but it's not a mystery unto the prophets of yahweh because pursuing to amos chapter 3 verse 7 it says uh surely the lord will do the lord will do nothing but he revealeth his secrets unto his servants, the prophets, man. All right? And the servants and the prophets only come out of the nation of Israel. Okay, you can read about that in Amos chapter 2, verse 11, Ezekiel uh, 38 and 17. All right? You can go to Psalms uh, 147 and 19. It says um, about how the Lord showeth his word unto Jacob. He have not uh, dealt so with any other nation, man. All right? So it's the prophets of Yahweh Bashan Ashai that really know what's going on. And that know that this mystery, Babylon the Great, right, that's mentioned in the Bible, is really referring to America. Okay? It says, And this shall be the plague wherewith the Lord will smite the people, all the people that have fought against Jerusalem. Right? Now, all these people that have fought against Jerusalem, that's talking about all of these heathens, right? All of these other nations outside of the nation of Israel, right? All of our enemies right beginning with esau edom the so-called white man and their elite so it says um that i fought against jerusalem jerusalem is referring to us so-called negroes latinos and native americans jerusalem is a, a a people before it's a place you know if you hear the word jerusalem you actually think about the 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 land but what makes up the land the people all right so it says their flesh shall consume away 
while they stand upon their feet and their eyes shall consume away in their holes talking about the their plans okay their visions for the future right these various different uh heathens right Th these various different governments around the world they think that they're going to be the, the next superpower right like for instance china they think that they're going to be uh the next superpower in 2030 a.d right and that's why it says in psalms uh, chapter 2 verse 1 about the heathen raging and imagining a vain thing okay because hey to think that you're going to be the next uh world superpower if you're not of the nation of israel that's an empty thought okay because it's not going to come to pass why because yahweh bashmah shai has deemed for israel to rule next and rule forever once esau goes down all right so it says their eyes meaning their their visions their plans shall consume away in their holes and their tongue shall consume away away in their mouth okay and that's all of this uh, vain talk that they be uh, speaking about all right again them thinking that they're going to be the next uh, superpower the next one's ruling right all of these uh, different visions and plans that these heathens have got they're going to be consumed away with the fire man all right so you know i don't want to make this video too long or nothing like that this was just supposed to be like a, a brief and quick news update as to what's going on around the world you know concerning them um, these different uh, countries or nations that are building up their uh, nuclear arsenal all right their their nuclear might their military might and whatnot okay because again we know according to prophecy according to the scriptures that america is going to be destroyed so when we see articles like this um you know a light bulb goes off in in our head and um when we see these things we're supposed to uh let our people know as to what's going on according to the scriptures right so lord willing it was edifying and uh lord when i catch you in the next one so shalom